Assalamu alaikum students this is Farwa Batool your O level computer science instructor and welcome to another video related to pseudocode this is the easiest video in which we are going to see the two statements input and output statements and let me show you the function of each okay starting with the output statement okay an output statement is one that is used to display information on the screen so what you will do just write down output keyword with capital letters and then if you want to show some message let's suppose you want to ask the user for his name so just write down quotations and inside the quotation write down what is your name so this question will be shown to the user on his screen so definitely the user is going to input some answer so what you will do after the output write down an input statement by using the input keyword and if you want to save the answer of the very uh, sorry save the answer of the user in a variable so just specify the name of that variable let's suppose name is a variable n a m e where the user is going to store some value of his name so you are going to just write down name variable here after input this statement means that whatever the input of the user it will be stored in a variable that has a name name or you or you named this variable as name it's quite confusing but i hope that it is fine let's just make it another name another my name variable you can just specify here my name so this is what you have to just specify the name of the variable where you want to put the information of the user that he or she inputs okay now this is a simple output and input statement another out output statement can be one in which you want a message to be printed and as well as the value of the variable to be printed what it means it means let's suppose some other day i want to print this name on the screen my name the value inside the variable my name let's suppose the user has input his name as ali now you want to print his name on the screen so just write down like this output write down a message first or the sentence first my name is colon quotations this is what actually i want to explain you that if you want your text to be displayed as it is so just use these quotations and if you want the value of the variable to be printed on screen so just write down the variable as it is and please if you are writing something in quotations and the value of the variable together so do not forget to separate them with comma this is very important so after quotations then you will use a comma and then you will print the name or you will use the variable name here that is my name after comma my name so the value of the variable will be printed on the screen instead of my name because you are not putting this variable in quotations remember that variables are never be written in quotations otherwise their value will not be printed so just to make you clear on the user's screen the user will see my name is colon and value inside my name is ali so it will be shown ali here very easy now if you want a user to see two variable values together 
So do nothing. Let's suppose there are two variables, number one and number two. And there is some value inside it. Let's suppose number one has a value 40 and it has a value 80. And you want to show both the values on your screen. So just write down output statement. Write down variable one that is number one. And then use a comma and write down number two. So this is how on your screen you will see 40 and 80 together. Okay. These are simple input and output statements that you can use in order to take input from the user and display that input on the screen. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope things are clear to you so far. Stay tuned, stay connected and do not forget to subscribe the channel. Bye-bye.